make this emotional, right? Well, um, we're going to be in tears, but <laughs> definitely. <laughs> well, I thought it was. I'll try my best. That Martha's sobbing. Right. Do you, want, yeah, do you want me to get it? Just give me a moment. <laughs> All right. I'll press on your foot at the right okay, moment. Go. Yeah. So your agent gives you a call and says, I want you to play a Barnell, a young Barnell who joins the guardians of Gahul in a battle against evil Metal Beak and the Pure Ones. You didn't fire him, no? You just said, okay, that sounds all right. I said, it didn't sound all right. I said, that sounds like the next thing I wanted to do. I, it was funny you should say that because I was just thinking about doing a project like that. That's what I said. <laughs> My dreams are coming true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but was, was it sort of, was it a moment stop? Because these films can be very difficult to get right because you're stepping into a huge amount of, of CGI and creation and, and you're trusting other people to make your performance kind of reach the audience in yeah. a way that you, you kind of given it, you know, in your recording. And there's a lot of faith really in, in the people around you as much as your own work yeah oh definitely and that's nice actually to sort of you know give somebody else you know that that responsibility because i mean i mean one thing i was sure of it, every box was sort of being ticked because i mean they sent me a a sort of idea of what they wanted the animation to look like and i'd seen happy feet and so i know that the people who were involved you know were going to do a good job with the animation side of things so i wasn't worried about that at all really and then knowing that Zack snyder was going to be directing it but also, I mean, this book that they sent me had all those sort of artwork and what, how these characters were going to move and what they looked like and what they were hoping to achieve. And I wasn't worried. I was, like, blown away and excited, you know. But I was thinking of being a proper actor, how one prepares to play the owl. I don't know whether you kind of slept days for a while and just went out at night looking for food. I did all I of that, yeah, hung yeah. Out, hung out with students. That's pretty much what you... What I regurgitated my own food, <laughs> exactly, with a bunch of students. But the, the, it's loosely based on, on the first three of Catherine Lasky's uh, Gahul books, and, and uh, there's certain reference points that people will think of, like Watership Down and Star Wars, Avatar, Lord of the Rings, yeah. maybe even Triumph of the Will as well at times. There's, uh, were there certain reference points that you and Zach talked about that you, you sort of wanted to kind of get this, uh, you know? I mean, we never, no, we never really talked about it, but I mean, it was something that just came to me just from reading the script, and that's why I sort of was really up for doing it, really, because it did remind me of you know, an animated film that I did love, which was Watership Down. And uh, because it wasn't sort of holding back any sort of emotional weight or any sort of, you know, anything that was frightening, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't afraid to sort of go to those places. And, you know, as a kid, they were the, that was the sort of cartoon that sort of stuck with me the most, really. So, so if I hoped that it could achieve anything, of, you know, that for, for another kid, then I was up for doing it. Of course, part of the story, at the core of the story, in a way, is two brothers who, one kind of becomes a hawk, the other one becomes a dove, and that's sort of drama that comes with, with brothers going different paths and, and extremely different paths that it, it almost suggested you know rich owl poor owl I don't know if that was good as an actor to sort of grasp that you had as well as the, the larger picture of a battle between good and evil you had this sort of almost a family drama kind of level yeah. to it as well yeah yeah I'm guessing as an actor that was kind of juicy or nice to sort of work with as well yeah it was nice yeah and it, it was I mean it was while you were doing it you didn't really feel like you were playing a sort of animated owl at all you know we just felt like we were doing this quite intense sort of you know, radio play almost, and you know it was it was fun just to try to get into the sort of weight of it all, and you know, sort of take these journeys with these characters, and it was nice to do that with just you know the use of your voice as well. I mean, we became obsessed in little nuances that could change the total emotion of what that person was saying, you know, just by the little tweak of his voice. And Zach was just you know there listening to like every detail of what you were saying. So yeah, it was it was a fun ride. I know my time is tight, and, and uh, I'm over from Ireland. I just wanted to, you know, obviously mention that you did a great performance as Martin McGarland in, in, in Fifty Dead Men Walking, and you recently did Peter Weir's The Way Back with the beautiful Colin Farrell. I don't know, if, did you get much time in Ireland when you, or, or were you in Ireland for any of these? Uh, I came back from or? Ireland yesterday. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Holidays or, or just a holiday. My girlfriend's family are Irish. She was brought up in London, but her dad and her, all her family are all Irish. So we were out in Car Carrick and Shannon. Ah, okay. uh, you know, visiting all the relatives. So I got back yesterday, and I love it out there. I love it. You know, they said they were going to come and get a car to come and pick me up, and I was like, well, I don't have an address. Like you, <laughs> you know, take a left at that gate and turn right at that field, and that's about you know the best you can do. Well, the best thing in Ireland, they always say when you're looking for directions, is they always say, well, if I was you, I wouldn't start from here. That's the way. It is. <laughs> well, there you go. Exactly. That's the way it would have worked. Lovely to meet you, man. Yeah. You too. Thank Cheers. You. Yeah. Of those new movies that are coming out. Uh,